Hello everyone, this video is going to talk about a laser synchronized shadow graph uh, camera activation system. So what we have here is to get a light pulse, a quick light pulse, we have a, a spinning disc with a slot in it. You can see there's a slot right here. And so you spin this disc at 18,000 RPMs and then when the, when the slot is aligned with this LED that's washing out the camera focus focus maybe not okay so there's an LED right here it's on continuously that LED shines on uh, a mirror over here shines through a combustion chamber where there will be a flame there hits another mirror here and then uh, impinges on the camera and so you want to activate the camera when the light is shining through the slot otherwise you won't get anything to show up on your picture so what I've done is you take a standard 3 three volt relay. I haven't made it pretty, I just have the wires connected with little test clips. And so I have 3 volts coming to the, to, uh, the relay, but in the way is uh, a series of resistors. I need about 46 ohms to, uh, to cut the voltage down enough so that the relay won't trigger. Or 46 ohms is, is the minimum that I need for it to trigger. So I have a, uh, a series of resistors and a photo cell. So in this uh, project box is a photo cell here. So photo cells work when they get impinged, when they get more light on them, their resistance goes down. So the idea is I have a laser. Now I turn on this little switch. So the laser, when the laser is on and hits this black disc that is on our spinning, spinning mirror, the circuit doesn't open, there's not enough voltage to activate the relay. When the laser bounces off the mirror, then the resistance in the circuit goes down, the relay closes, and the camera activates. And you can hear it triggering, triggering there. So now, the key bit is that we're gonna rotate this disc. And so I have a pulse going to the camera, or going to the relay at one hertz, and so you synchronize that pulse with the delay in activating the laser. Well, the delay in activating the, the relay. And that way, uh, you're only taking a picture when the slot is over the light. So the, uh, if you look at this when it's not spinning, so this is a Dremel. Uh, Dremel is not the best uh, motor to use for this, I don't think but it, it, it's working for now. I'm actually using a, a uh, rheostat for a fan to control the speed because the speed motor burned out. They tend to do that on these, these Dremels in, in my experience. But uh, what was I gonna say? So the, the, black, the black slot, turn this off for now, the slot is aligned with the, with the beginning of the black, of the black half, half, half disc. So that way, every time the mirror rotates, you know when the laser is gonna turn, uh, well, is gonna start hitting the, hitting the photo cell that's mounted here. So this is one way to get not only a microsecond pulse of light, so the spinning disc, if we run it at uh, 18,000 revolutions per minute, and this, the slot is about 67 millimeters from the center, and if I work that out right, I get about uh, an 11, 11 microsecond pulse, though uh, controlling this motor incredibly precisely is tough, so, uh, you know, 10 microseconds to 100 microseconds, probably good enough for, the, for, the, for what I'm dealing with. In my work, uh, I did use a, a, a mill uh, to drill the hole in the center of this so it's quite precise. I still do get a, a little bit of wobble in the in the mirrored disc itself, but it's not too bad. Um, and I have it mounted against the brick wall so uh, that damps out a lot of the vibration and just simple pipe clamps holding this to the aluminum. Can I zoom out? Oh, I can zoom out. Um, so this is my very uh, simple and somewhat crude method for uh, getting a 
uh, order microsecond pulse of light and synchronizing the camera with the spinning disk itself. So I hope you found this useful and have a good day.